I'm F. Raymond Sickley, and this is How to Draw a Tesseract. A tesseract is sometimes called a hypercube, a higher dimensional cube. When you draw a tesseract, you take a dot, which is a zero dimensional object, and drag it perpendicular to itself on a plane in one dimension to create a line. If you take that one dimensional figure and drag it perpendicular to itself, what you end up with is a square whose sides are made up of lines. And if you take a two-dimensional square and drag it perpendicular to itself into the third dimension, you get a cube whose sides are made out of squares. If you take a cube and drag it perpendicular to itself, into the fourth dimension, what you end up with is a tesseract. So you have a line which is basically made up of a series of dots. That's zero dimension going into one dimension. Then you have a square whose sides are lines. And then you've got a cube whose sides are squares. And then you've got a tesseract whose sides are cubes. In terms of my tarot, when I draw one of these, after I get one of these wire rims sketched out, I would go ahead and thicken it up a little bit on each side of each line. I thought it made it look nice. The idea with my tarot was to draw it a little over three times the size that it was intended to be printed. And so if I was going to do, I, you know, I have a couple of cards where I have really thin lines. I didn't think they looked as nice. So I didn't want these to be thin like that. It's another reason that they are kind of drawn the way they are. Over the course of drawing the tarot, I drew about 500 of these between my design sketches and my first and second draft of the deck and my final images for the deck too. And here I am sitting here drawing another one. <laughs> At a bookstore in Texas in 2003 I found a book about higher dimensional theory and that's how I got introduced to it. If you look around in popular culture you find it in a couple of places. Here it is, you know, it collapsed the quantum tesseract. When I started the tarot deck, the initial idea was to do a deck that was based around the different dimensions. The problem that I saw with it was that it wasn't very visually pleasing at all. It wasn't fun to make and it wasn't exactly fun to look at. So I decided to use the figure as three of the suits and then make a suit tesseracts and have tesseracts kind of run through all of them. The thing about the Tesseract is it's the basis for the border, it's the basis for the noise design that I made, it's the basis for a whole suit, and it ends up being a symbol in a lot of different cards in all the suits. So uh, I, hope this, uh, I hope this video gives you a little insight into what a Tesseract is and why it's so prevalent in the Sickly Tarot, and I hope you enjoyed it. I would just like to say thanks again for your contribution to the Sickly Tarot. It means a lot to me. Thanks a lot.